The Egyptian House is an early 19th century building in Penzance in Cornwall. It has been in the Landmark Trust care since 1968. An annual survey in 2011 revealed that the remarkable Egyptian-style facade was cracked and the metal supporting the embellishments was corroded. A part of the decoration had fallen off and urgent repair work was needed. The embellishments were thought to be code stone, a type of ceramic stone, but analysis revealed that they were actually made from natural cement. Carol Payton, Landmark Trust surveyor, explains. So it is a natural cement which was um, being introduced at about this period, um, but a lot of it was modelled in situ, which is quite, again, quite unusual. And what we've done, tried to do in the repairs is replicate that process and the materials used. The damaged decorations were carefully removed from the building and taken to a local workshop for repair. Ian Burgess from Assyrian Building Conservation elaborates on the process. The main problem with the, 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 the caryatids was these iron columns running up through the middle of them. So these iron columns had expanded and unfortunately pulled the, the, the columns apart completely right from the base right up through. Um, we had to actually cut them off at the, at the neckline to, to take these things apart and get them off the site. Assyrian were allowed vital time and resources to test each piece to ensure that the correct method of repair was chosen. So, I mean, natural cement's a, a good material. It's good for certain things, but it has not a great adhesive quality. The, the coat of arms particularly was in, was in lots and lots of pieces. Um, and we had to cut away all the rusting ironwork, which left a very, very thin outer shell and lots and lots of fragments. Uh, which were put back together very carefully. Occasionally, conservators will reach for modern materials to help salvage and restore the old. We needed a material with adhesive quality, which is why we've had to use a, a modern epoxy to, to, to ground the thing back together again. But again, all the external detail has been filled and repaired with um, natural cement. Um, generally, the same material is much more compatible. Uh, as soon as you use different, differing materials, you, you get um, uh, expansion differential so you get fractures between the two materials. The eagle, which sits at the very top of the building, takes the full force of the weather and it had been restored several times before. But the other thing that surprised us up close was how poorly made the beast was. Um, that's a close-up of its leg and as you can see it's almost deformed really. The claws were very poorly made and in fact earlier photos had shown that these had just been painted on so actually these had been a replacement and as it turned out this was a big lump of concrete here. We knew the head wasn't original either. Um, he again was a lump of concrete that had been put on at a later date. So what we've done with him, bearing in mind he was concrete, um, is remodelled him and this is the, um, first of all we made a maquette which is um, this small figure here which is I think quarter scale, bit, which was taken off photos that we had of the building which date from the 1930s so we're going back beyond anything that was done more recently um, to get it as near to the original form that we could find. Um, and from that, the um, full-size model was made up. And from that, a cast was, was made. And we've, um, we've now cast the, the full figure in the natural cement. So we're back to the material that was used originally for him. Um, and then it's a case of piecing him together and putting him back on the building. Thanks to the Landmark Fund, critical repair work has now been completed. The facade of the building has been repaired and the embellishments have been carefully repainted and gilded before travelling back to Penzance to be reassembled and reattached. The Egyptian house is once again complete and this much-loved local building restored back to its former glory.